A concept in Flash which is very useful is that of masking. It can be used with still images or with animated tween layers, but it's easier to see with a tween. So I'm going to hide those top layers and reshow my classic layer, which is now a longer pear shaped object bouncing on the ground. If I create a new layer above that classic tween and I call it mask, then I can right click and set it to be a mask layer. Now, when you set something to be a mask layer, it indents the layer beneath it and it locks both layers together. That's important because the mask is ignored if these layers aren't locked. Now, I'm going to unlock them so I can edit this top layer and I'm going to create a quick rectangle on that layer. To make it stand out a bit, I'm going to double click it and I'm going to deactivate the stroke by choosing none and choose the fill just to be some horrible yellow. When I drag backwards and forwards, you'll see nothing special happens. But if I lock both those layers once again, you'll see that I can only see the classic tweened layer where the shape existed. And the shape, if I unlock and you can see it, is simply that thin rectangle. I could reshape this object, perhaps to create something like that, lock the layer again, and now you'll see that I'm looking through a window. So a useful technique would be to duplicate this layer. I could drag the mask layer to new and it will make a copy of that mask layer. I'll right click it, untick mask, and now I've got a regular shape. This will apply even if the mask layer is again locked and again visible, but of course the mask will be hiding everything I want to see. What I'll do first is I'll set my ink bottle so that I can get an outline on this shape and then I'll set the fill to none. I'm going to make that outline a little bit thicker and I'll leave it as dashed. Um, actually, I'll make it just a little bit less thick than that so I can still see the dashed. There we go. And now we've effectively got a window through which we can see things behind. Now you may be thinking, can I use alpha and transparency to get a soft gradient on my mask? And unfortunately the answer is no. It's only fills which are looked at, and it's only the fact that a fill is there or not. The colour of the fill, or any gradients applied to the fill, are simply ignored. So to recap, all you need to do to get a mask working is to create a new layer above another layer, right click on that layer and choose mask, and then whatever you put on that layer is going to restrict how the layer below it is shown. The layers must be locked to be active, and a layer can be duplicated by dragging to new if you want to create a variation on that mask to put a frame around a window, for example. Now that we've had a good look at classic tweens and some of the techniques you can use with it, we're going to look in more detail at motion tweening and the motion editor.